is David, and these are some uh, random coffee stains I'm going to draw on and find some images in. Um, I like to just start making lines here, and then things just start uh, coming to me. Like, if I just draw this line here and around, it's starting to kind of look like a Scottish person. And by Scottish person, I mean, like, you know, the stereotypical one, like, golfer, you know, and they've got the hat with the with the with the fluffy nonsense here and then you know it, 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 this one's experiencing that that uh, that scottish phenomenon when the scottish bird comes down and lunges its feet into your face and then uh, swings down of course and wraps your wraps your neck with its tongue and injects you with scottish venom which actually uh, you know makes your accent a little bit thicker and then it's its feet, of course, are working its magic on your thoughts to make sure they're Scottish enough. Um, this doesn't really necessarily just happen in Scotland. Um, if you have any Scottish heritage, you know what I'm talking about, right? Um, like, at least once a day this happens. Anyway, it's always fun drawing drawing nature. So let's go down here. This is, uh, this is kind of looks like a like that Scottish game. If we're on the theme of Scotland, uh, might as well just draw this famous Scottish game where you you just take your your uncle and you shove him into your uh, into your light wire, like just the wire that's connected to like any any light in your house, and you uh, just shove him in that like a like a cocoon. You know, it's exactly how it sounds. And then you just cut a little hole in the bottom with his where so his thumb can come out, and you just you just uh, I think you get a what is it now? You get a popcorn seed and you put it close to the light because, you know, logically the light gives off heat. So if you leave a popcorn seed like very, very close to it, you just hold it in your hand to get like a popcorn seed pedestal somewhere. And you just, if you flick his finger, then the light comes on. I mean, if the light comes on, then you eventually get a, a small snack. Um, how are you? So I'm gonna hop over here now, and uh... So this right here, this actually is like right away starting to look like my morning routine. Um, it, it's like the vacuum cleaner, obviously. Uh, me being a, a clean freak. Um, I usually get my clothing to uh, chase me around the house. I usually put like a little glove up there and then all my clothes are kind of in this pile and then they uh, they just uh, uh, you know the shoes are there and the socks they're all kind of attached and then they just chase me around the house with the bat wings and the, the flower that gives it kind of the powers and kind of gives it its powers and, and movement and everything it just chases me around the house and then eventually vacuums up my uh, my body and then my body goes up through the through the bag and into the sleeve eventually and then I get and then I uh, pour into the clothing it's all to the to a box a uh, jig fugue if you look that up it's like chasing me all around the house to this music and then it eventually vacuums me up and then I'm 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 dressed and good to go for breakfast so this right here this kind of looks like a like a man possibly in like a fur coat I think like he's like kind of being thrusted or pulled or something and it actually kind of looks like that that uh, that creature that uh, kind of hides out in uh, in Macy's or any department store really and uh, what it does is basically splits into three or four and then uh, kind of disguises those three or four pieces into fur coats and you have like three three customers trying on the fur coats and then suddenly they're magnetically pulled together when the creature decides that like, the creature does not have any legs so it, it it needs it needs legs so it uses you know Macy's customers and then it just kind of pulls them together at the same time so they're all kind of surprised you know just trying it on in front of a mirror and then they're pulled together and then the head of course joins it and then and then they're you know it uses their legs you know their their heels or awkward attire whatever they're wearing and then they just and it just run then it just runs back to the amazon so if you ever see one of these down on a jungle safari and it's got like you know a bunch of 
bunch of high heels on, skeleton heads sticking up out of the top of it, then you then you know you know where they came from. So that's everything right there. If you wanna if you wanna purchase these episode drawings, just uh, message me on Instagram, and we can set that up. If you wanna send in your own coffee sheets, uh, you can do that. Just just message me on Instagram. And if you want uh, if you want more from me, uh, check out my Patreon down down below. Uh, I I have a sketchbook, and I pretty much display all my drawings on there, and you can have uh, you can have access to that. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in a couple of days. Thank you.